When combining many items and abilities, often nothing special will happen. For example, Holidays 3 won't interact with Headhunter to make your damage magically skyrocket. At the same time, Instance Amplifiers, the damage amplification of these abilities, won't amplify the damage of Headhunter, which does seem a bit odd. This is part 2A to a Dead Man's Guide to Weapon Damage Instances. Disclaimers. This video works standalone, despite following on from my previous one. Maths demonstrated on the math screen won't always work when plugged into a calculator. Make sure to look at the bottom of the screen for the proper calculations. Weapon damage instances encompass these items and abilities. If you used Headhunter with Lucky Shot, you might expect Headhunter's damage to be increased by Lucky Shot. However, this doesn't happen for most combinations of weapon damage instances. To show that nothing happens, let's cover two examples. A simple example now, and a more complex example later on. The simple example will involve Lash, Headshot Booster, and Lucky Shot. The total damage dealt by this combination is 70. Looking at the damage breakdown, it was split 40 from Headshot Booster, 19 damage from Lash's weapon, and 11 damage from Lucky Shot. Let's see how each source of damage was calculated, starting with Lash's weapon. Lash has a base bullet damage of 8.1. Hitting a crit increases this damage to 15. This is because crits increase damage by 90%. Buying Headshot Booster and Lucky Shot will increase the weapon damage by 24%, increasing weapon damage to 19. Next is Lucky Shot's damage. Lucky Shot damage is affected by both Lash's base bullet damage of 8.1 and the 24% weapon damage provided by Lucky Shot and Headshot Booster. However, Lucky Shot states two things, the fact that it cannot crit, and the damage multiplier of 110%. Using this information will allow us to calculate Lucky Shot's damage, which is 11. Last is Headshot Booster, which is by far the most simple. Headshot Booster isn't affected by base bullet damage or weapon damage percent, so all it does is simply deal 40 damage. This shows that Headshot Booster and Lucky Shot don't affect each other's damage. I will classify combinations like these as independent. It's not the only combination of weapon damage instances that are independent. Headshot Booster or Headhunter and Holidays 3, Headshot Booster or Headhunter and Hazes 3, Headshot Booster or Headhunter and Lucky Shot, Headshot Booster or Headhunter and Instance Amplifiers, Lucky Shot and Holidays 3, Lucky Shot and Instance Amplifiers are combinations of weapon damage instances that are independent, which means they don't affect each other's damage. Ricochet and Headshot Booster or Headhunter, Ricochet and Holidays 3, Ricochet and Hazes 3, Ricochet and Lucky Shot are independent combinations that involve Ricochet. Independent combinations with Ricochet do have some notable interactions though. Activating Headshot Booster against the primary target does not affect the amount of damage taken by the secondary target, which you can see in this side-by-side -side example where both secondary targets took equal damage despite Headshot Booster activating on the right example. If you body shot the primary target, but crit the secondary target, Headshot Booster will activate against the secondary target. The damage dealt is not affected by Ricochet's 60% multiplier. These interactions also extend to Headhunter and Holidays 3, although there is one unique interaction with Holidays 3, specifically her T3. For whatever reason, a crit against the primary target will cause a T3 to activate multiple times over. It doesn't matter if the secondary targets were hit in the body by the ricocheted bullet. I'm not sure if this is intended behaviour or not given it's been in the game for a while. Hazes 3 will deal bonus damage based on the amount of stacks of fixation for each target hit. In this example, the primary target has 40 stacks of fixation, while the secondary target has none. Here, the primary target took 8 bonus damage from Hazes 3, while the secondary target took none. Flipping the scenario around so the secondary target has 40 stacks of fixation while the primary target has none will result in the primary target taking no bonus damage. 
and the secondary targets taking 8 bonus damage. This also shows that Ricochet does not affect the damage of Hazes 3. Headshotting the primary target will cause two stacks of fixation to be applied to secondary targets, even if they were hit in the body. Going over to Lucky Shot, if it activates against the primary target, the secondary target won't take more damage. Here are the independent combinations involving Return Fire. Those are Return Fire and Headshot Booster or Headhunter, Return Fire and Holidays 3, Return Fire and Hazes 3, Return Fire and Lucky Shot. All listed combinations function the same. If you activate any of those weapon damage instances against the user of Return Fire, the attacker will not take more damage. Additionally, any of those listed weapon damage instances cannot be activated against the attacker. It's also worth noting that Return Fire cannot return the bullet from Return Fire. Sadly. That leaves four combinations of weapon damage instances that are not independent. Hazes 3 and Lucky Shot, Instance Amplifiers and Ricochet, Instance Amplifiers and Return Fire, and finally, Ricochet and Return Fire. I'll be covering these specific interactions in future videos. Here is the list of all independent weapon damage instance combinations. This list only covers combinations involving two weapon damage instances. So what happens if you have three weapon damage instances? Well, nothing changes. Let's say you have Headhunter, Lucky Shot, and an Instance Amplifier. We know that Headhunter and Lucky Shot are independent, Headhunter and Instance Amplifiers are independent, and Lucky Shot and Instance Amplifiers are independent. Because all items are independent with each other, we simply add up the damage of the player's weapon, Headhunter, Lucky Shot, and Instance Amplifiers. Let's do one last worked example with the three weapon damage instances I mentioned earlier, Headhunter, Lucky Shot, and Instance Amplifiers. We will do this on Lady Geist, whose Instance Amplifier has a value of 15%. The dummy will also have improved bullet armor. When all weapon damage instances activate, the dummy takes 119 damage, 65 of which was dealt by Headhunter, 31 by Lady Geist's weapon, 18 by Lucky Shot, and 5 by Lady Geist's 15% instance amplifier. Let's break this down, starting with Lady Geist's weapon. Lady Geist has a base bullet damage of 22.5, but it is displayed as 22 in game. Headhunter and Lucky Shot provide 47% weapon damage, boosting her damage to 33. Critical hits increase damage dealt by 90%, further increasing damage to 62. Finally, the dummy's improved bullet armor provides 50% bullet resist, reducing gun damage to 31, the value observed when all weapon damage instances were activated. Moving on to Headhunter, which is far simpler. Headhunter deals 130 damage normally. Headhunter doesn't care about the base bullet damage or weapon damage percent, but it does care about the dummy's bullet resist, which reduces the damage from 130 to 65. Next is Lucky Shot. Lucky Shot is affected by Lady Geist's 22.5 base bullet damage and the 47% weapon damage gained from buying Headhunter and Lucky Shot. This is then multiplied by the 110% of Lucky Shot, resulting in 36 damage. Despite the fact that we crit the dummy, Lucky Shot cannot crit. However, the dummy's 50% bullet resist from improved bullet armor will affect the damage of Lucky Shot, reducing it to 18. Lastly is Lady Geist's 15% Instance Amplifier. It is affected by Lady Geist's 22.5 base bullet damage, resulting in 3 damage. When the 47% weapon damage from Headhunter and Lucky Shot is accounted for, 
This increases to 4.96 damage, which is rounded up to 5 in this case. Critical hits affect the damage of instance amplifiers, so in this case the damage was increased by 90%, resulting in 9 damage. And finally, the dummy's 50% bullet resist will reduce the damage from 9 back to 4.7, which rounded up to 5 in this case. Your time runs short. By calculating the damage of Lady Geist's weapon and all three weapon damage instances, we could see that they had no effect on each other, as the total we calculated was roughly 119 which was the same as what we saw in game. Thank you for watching, and please stick around for more Mathematical Yap.